Welcome to Source BMX. I'm Van Homan. Today we're in Wildwood, Florida for Swamp Fest. I'm here with BMX legend Ryan Biz Jordan. He's a two time former world dirt jumping champion. And today we're going to take a look at his SM demolition build. All right, Ryan, so let's start with the frame. You're riding the SM Mike Hoder BTM XL frame. It's got a little bit taller of a standover height, it's got a really responsive back end. Why don't you break down this frame for us and let us know what's important to you when choosing a frame? Honestly, everyone says this, but it's literally the best frame I ever rode. I love a huge box, you okay. know what I mean? And a tight back end and tall head tube, so you don't need to cut your fork at all. Mm. And holder backs it, what, what more can you do than that? You yeah, know? like you said, plenty of room up front. Yeah, yeah. Responds quick in the rear end. You got no extra spacers in the head tube here. Super clean. Yeah, yeah. it's honestly my favorite frame I've ever ridden. Like what kind of, I mean, you kind of ride a little bit of everything, so you think it's just good for all around riding? Yeah, I don't, I don't like it too responsive, but it is responsive, okay. you know, if that makes sense. And then, so no, it's good for dirt jumps and also yeah, good yeah, for bunny yeah, hop whips. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. I, I can go down to Sheep Hills or I can go out and ride the parking lot. So yeah, yeah it works. So you do a hop whip every year on your birthday, right? Yeah, going on uh, year number. 42 now, I started at 35. So you're 42 and you still got hop whips on lock. I, I guess, next year's, gonna, <laughs> next year's gonna be tough, but All right. we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, Biz, we've got the Demolition Kevin Peraza forks on here, 24 millimeter offset. Seems like kind of middle of the road, a little bit on the steep side. Is that the perfect balance to be able to do a Superman seat grab and a G turn? I mean, for me, I'm not a front end guy at all. So whatever, Peraza rocks is good for me. Mm -hmm. I'm not really doing much on the front end, so I don't think it would make a difference for me, but if he rides it, I'm down with that. Yeah, so yeah. if it's good enough for Kevin Peraza, it's good enough for you. Exactly. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right, Biz, you've got the Demolition Fast and Loose Collaboration Handlebars. What rise are you running? Also, I hear you have an interesting way of uh, cutting your bars down. Break that down for us. Yeah, I think, I should know this. I think I'm 825. 825, that's pretty small then. Am I? I don't is it? No, you're not. The bars are the bars. <laughs> no, no, no. I think it's 825. I'm not exactly sure, but okay. I've always done this. Like as long as I've ridden, I've cut my non-brake lever side a little shorter than my um, lever side because obviously you need that for the bend, you know? The lever. All right. So it's you can even see how it's a little offset. Yeah. yeah. So that doesn't get you out of whack. Uh, no. Doesn't <laughs> somehow, make you lean left or right. Somehow I've been pulling it off. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it just feels more comfortable for you, gives you more room for the lever. Yeah, I, I, need, I need to keep the bars a little tighter for bar spins. These things keep on going up every okay. year and the, the bars keep on getting slower, you know? So, so basically a, you're trimming them down as much as you possibly yes. can while still leaving room for the lever. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So you have both the Demolition Market Collaboration stem and sprocket. What do you like about these products? Why do you run them? I understand they're limited edition. So do yeah. you recommend people getting their hands on these before they can? The sprocket, I just like the clean look. It's all black and it's a disc. Yeah, so solid, I, I solid. No cutouts. Can't do much better than that. And I think I'm 28-10, so. Okay, 28-10 20. gear ratio. Yeah, okay. yeah, so I've been on that forever and it just works. Pedal fast and it's good. Excellent, what about the stem? The stem, yeah, this is a market stem. I've had this forever. I've been on a top load for a long time and I haven't switched from a top load forever and it just, it works for me and I enjoy it. One of the things I really think is interesting about this stem, it looks like it has like like marks where you could you could like use it to gauge where your bar position. Is that right? I, I've never used those. But yeah, you could, <laughs> yes, it looks that, like it. I probably should. That's a nice detail <laughs> because there. Because I'm really, really anal about my bar placement and I'll switch and adjust them like till it's properly right. And I, yeah. sh something I probably should know. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Thanks, you're, man. you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, Biz, so let's talk about your seat setup. You've got a demolition market collaboration again. Looks like a kind of medium sized seat. Post looks like medium height and you've got a quick release. So I guess my question is how important is your seat size for you and how important is the seat post height and how often do you adjust it? So basically I've been running this same seat size for forever. Like since like the Eddie Cleveland days when that stuff came in and everyone was riding the slim. Okay. I still stayed with the same design. I had to have demolition make them special for me. And like oh, wow. it went from the slim back and back again to this. And I've been on the same one the whole time. Yeah. 
So it's just grippy and I won't go uh, other And what than. does that help you with, bar spins? Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Everyone knows the bar spin trick. Big of the seat, you know, a little easier. Yeah. And what about the quick release? That's, I think, all right. first of all, it's really unique that this frame has a traditional seat post yeah. clamp in general. And then you have, to add to that, you have the quick release. So I originally got this frame and I was like, oh, damn, it doesn't have a um, built-in one. And then the only thing they had at S&M was a quick release. And I was like, oh, God, I guess I got to get the quick release. After a few months, it's been two years and never took it off. So it like, just grew on you. Dude, like, yeah. Whips, a little lower, bar spins, a little taller, you know. So that's like old cheat, school. Cheating the system a little bit. You ever toss the double bars? Just put, put the seat way up, toss them? <laughs> nah, that ain't happening. But <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I love it. Even just like pedaling around like the city, you can yeah. raise it up a bit, like that's raise true. it down. Like, yeah. It's, Spot searcher, just put that post dude, up and pedal around. Did I even think about that? Like, not just for tricks, but also just pedaling around yeah, the city yeah. to be so much more comfortable. And being my old age, my knees don't bend too good. So yeah. when I do whips, the, I do it under the seat. You know what okay. I mean? So I have to you know, yeah. work with what you got. All right, let's talk about your cranks. You have the Demolition Revolt cranks. They have a traditional 19 millimeter spindle. What size crank arms are you running? And in a world where a lot of people are going to oversized spindles these days, you're sticking with the classic 19 mil. Yeah. Break um, that down. I'm 170 and I, I honestly, I can't look down and see the huge fat one. I can't do okay. it. Like this is what I've been on on my whole life and I just can't look down. It looks so strange to me and awkward. Mm -hmm. Like, and I just love these. And these, honestly, I've probably had these cranks for three or four years. Okay. Like they've, yeah, they've stood up fine. and. So just slim and classic and yeah, still yeah. plenty strong for what yeah, you need. Yeah, you know, like looks, I like to try and keep it like my old race bikes when I was a kid. Okay. And that's what that reminds me of. The, I'm not into the big fat one. It just looks too much for me. Got you. Yeah. Biz, I noticed you're talking about your old race days, but you have given in to the plastic pedal game these days. You've got the Mike Hoder pedals. I know Mike put a lot of thought into designing these. He's got the thicker pedal body and an oversized spindle to make sure they're really strong. What do you like about these pedals? Oh man, I've been on the plastic pedals for as long as, I, man, it's gonna be like 15 years now though, at least, you know? Like you think it isn't that long, but then you are on plastic pedals for that long and they're just, yeah. I feel like it hurts a little, little less when you hit the shins. All right, so you know for those I mean? hop whips. <laughs> yeah, because I'm gonna get a few of those shins, you know? <laughs> so, hurts a little less and get them when you want, a lot cheaper. So a little bit more disposable. Yeah, like exactly. The pedals, but like, and grinds, you always get that one side that wears off real quick, and then it's yeah. in inexpensive to replace these. So that's yeah. like the main factor, you know? But again, these are definitely a, a beefier plastic pedal, so kind of meant to take some abuse. Yeah. And yeah. like, how do they feel? Like just the traction? I know they It's got good. Them. I feel like they're a little larger than most plastic pedals. Okay. So you get a little more room on your foot. And then, yeah, so anything that Hoda rides, um, back in that. All right. Yeah. All right, Biz, let's talk about your wheels. You've got the Demolition Rotator Free Coaster Hub. That's your signature free coaster hub. What went into the design of this and why do you choose a free coaster over a cassette? I, I, I put a free coaster on in 2007. I had knee surgery and I was just trying to mess around and Behringer gave me one. And I always wanted to ride one, but it was kind of like a quirky thing at the time. And I was like, kind of scared to ride one, like didn't know what the response would be from the BMX community, but <laughs> that was like 2007 and I had it on since and like I never took it off. Like I actually don't do much backwards stuff, but I just like the sound of rolling backwards with no noise and just quick rollouts without adjusting your feet. I think these ones last great and I think it's one of the more affordable ones. It's priced really good and you get what you pay for and it lasts. So, all right, yeah. good bang for your buck. Yeah. Biz, in these days, it's a little bit more rare to see brakes, but you've got the Demolition Vulcan brakes with the Odyssey medium lever. Um, why do you run brakes? What's important about your setup? It's classic. I love it. It's just, I, I use them all the time. It's, I like to stop. <laughs> so it's, yeah, I, I don't know. You, you know me, we, we're the same. We run brakes. It's, yeah. it's in our roots. And I've had these brake pads on, these Demolition ones are probably six years definitely six years and i always ran black rims too and i've never had a problem yeah, still works so yeah. these things still work great with the chrome rims black rims whatever. yeah exactly yeah it's it's magic 
All right, Biz, something that's unique about the Demolition Vulcan brakes as well, it actually has a sealed bearing in the brake, which is kind of unique. Does that help everything just be like, give a smooth pull? Oh, definitely. It, and then I actually noticed that when I ride Sheep Hills, because that's probably the dustiest place on the planet, oh. riding trails that just gets in your oh. shit. Oh, oh. hey. <laughs> you want to do a bike check? Fuck. Yeah, All right, and yeah, we got um, we're here we with got, White Helmet guy. Cult. We're gonna take Man, a look so at his cult. Yo, yo, Ben Helmet, <laughs> fuck, can I get on? Yo, what's up? Yo, yeah. Biz, what's up, guys? Yeah, what up, man? Fuck yeah, sorry to spool. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, man. Yeah. My bad. Yeah, what do you, I you went think? Right what, through that what, what do you God. think? What do you think of my bike? We're doing a bike check right now. Good shit. Can I give it a lap? Actually, my front oh. wheel isn't tight. Please do not. <laughs> I didn't tight. Oh my God, I would have killed him. Oh shit, dude. How about the lever? Are you particular about the feel of your lever? I just like, yeah, short lever and classic, you know. I maybe put a speck of a bend on it, not much at okay. all. Yeah. So you just a little tweak? Yeah, yeah, not, not too much. And I always get like, it's funny, me and BF always laugh at each other because he runs his underneath. Okay. And he always laughs at me because mine's mm. usually so up here. So kind of like yeah. a... And so Bowen, Bowen calls me one of the motocross guys too, like how they do that. Like, how they, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, so. Biz, you've got the demolition, Mike Hucker hammerhead tires. I know he's got a street version, he's got a trail version. Which ones are you running? What size and what tire pressure do you like? Um, I'm on the street version. I'm probably a 225, slimmer tire, grind faster. For tire pressure, I'm like 65, 70, which is a li okay. little more than most kids these days, you know? Yeah. Like they like the soft ones, and I'm like, I feel like I lose pop on that. And I yeah. love bunny hopping, but I feel like compressing. Like you lose it a bit, you yeah. know what I mean? But I don't know. All right, Biz, let's talk about your pegs. You've got the demolition, three force pegs. What size are you running? Why do you choose plastic? What are you grinding on these days? I mean, California is pretty easy with uh, spots, so it's not, you don't need metal. I don't think everything's pretty perfect and plastic holds up and I need all the help I can get these days to make myself go faster and <laughs> grind longer. So I run plastic and uh, all right. yeah, it's been a, it's, it's been a long time on plastic, but it works. The hub guard goes perfect. It actually comes with my free coaster. So okay. the hub guard comes with that, the plastic one. And then the pegs line up perfect. There isn't any gap between the dropout. It's just flush. All right, Biz, before we wrap this up, is there anything else that people need to know about this bike or the overall feel or setup of it? Yeah, I recently made a big change to my bike. It like something I didn't, wasn't expecting and it was like a huge thing. It was probably like uh, my friend gave me the best valve cap in the world. Oh, sh it's it's uh, New England Patriots and um, Tom Brady forever and oh, he man. He, he, I thought he was on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh, he's a Patriot. He's a Patriot. So we got the valve cap and we're keeping it strong. I like that. That is good. I don't like the Patriots, but I do like that valve cap. All right, Biz, thanks for showing the people your SM BTM Mike Hoder build. Everybody, go to the Source Bike Builder. There you can see everything Biz is riding. You can get pricing, spec, and availability. SourceBMX.com. Thanks, guys. Can you get me an Eagles one of those?